right, so what I've got here is some sweatshirt fleece and I've also got some French terry. So the French terry has the really soft loops on the back and the fleece is just what you would think fleece would be. I've also got a OmniGrid ruler. I'm making my makeup remover pads four inches wide because I kind of want bigger pads than they sell in the store and also because this is four inches so it's really it makes really quick work of cutting out all the squares, but obviously you can just cut them out whatever whatever size you you want, um, either based on your rulers like me or uh, based on just how big you want your removers to be. Okay, so this is why it's so great. Oh, this is also a rotary cutter. This is the Clover rotary cutter. And you just simply go down. I do all the vertical cuts at once and then I'll come back through and do all of the horizontal cuts. Okay, so now I've got all my vertical cuts. You can see even this one here has a big cut down the side. That's okay. We're just going to chop that right off. You can tell that I've got two equally straight sides and then you come through and line up your ruler, like the number 10 right there with one edge and then chop off the excess, spin it around and now you've got three straight edges to easily make your fourth cut. And then go the length of that piece until you've quickly got two squares. And then just keep going till you're done. All right, and when you've got all your cutting done, you end up with a pile of uh, French terry squares and a pile of fleece squares. And I'm placing mine uh, with the French terry being on the outside of one side and the like right side of the fleece being on the other side. So it gets sandwiched like this, French terry on one side and the right side of the fleece on the other side. Um, okay, so now I'm going to go over to my serger and I'm just going to serge around all four sides to make this little sandwich. So what I'm doing here is I am feeding the squares through the serger, but instead of cutting off each thread, I'm rotating the square one quarter turn and then sending it back through the serger again so that the ends of one serger tail are getting cut off by the beginning of another one. And that kind of just ends up locking them in place where you don't have to worry so much about clipping all of your threads. And then I just leave that tail nice and long and then start the next um, square. And when you go to cut the last one of that square, it'll cut off your long, long chain. So now that I'm back at the table, I just come through and you end up with all these loops and you can cut the loops off because one, one serger um, pass kind of encase the other one and so they, it kind of locks them in a little bit but when you get to the end here leave yourself um, a little bit of a tail and then I love this little guy it's called a little hooky and basically what it does is make super fast work of three threading your serger tail back through your um, serger stitches so that you can trim that off and not have to worry about um, them ever coming undone. So it's super simple to use and makes really quick work of this normally very tedious process. Just like that. You pull the rest through and now you've got a nice clean uh, situation. So I don't know how many of these I'm going to be able to get done in one sitting, but um, you just 
keep rocking and rolling with them until you've got a whole nice collection. So I will have links in the description box for all the tools I used today, including the ruler, the little hooky, and Clover's rotary cutter. So feel free to check those things out and enjoy some good, clean, scrap-tastic makeup remover pads. Go environment. <laughs> Talk to you guys very soon. Bye.